What up, YouTube? Give y'all a quick update of what I got going on. Uh, not much has changed with the cutlass. Still the same. Waiting on my paint guy. Give me a quote so it'll be next month before he can get to it. I'm just going to give me a quote on painting this. Still deciding if I'm going to go black and gold or black and silver with gold stripes. Give me y'all opinion. I'm thinking black and gold because I got a little gold in the seats. I kind of want it to be different and not be like everybody else. I'm going to put all the 442 striping and badging back on it like it's supposed to be. But black and silver. Uh, but I got my SS back. I don't know if y'all knew I had this off to get painted. Buddy of mine sprayed it for me. He's got to come by and wet sand and buff it. Did a pretty decent job. Way cheaper than the other guy quoted me. I uh, used Tamco paint. Tamco glamour finish. Just haven't put the spoiler back on because we're going to wet sand and buff it but for the most part did a pretty good job I think uh, didn't take them but about I think I had the car maybe three weeks if that pretty happy with it we blacked all the black back out all the molding all the way around door handles trim tag frame you name it blacked it all back out painted back the stock silver I said, it looks pretty good. It's got to be wet sanded and buffed, though. It's got a little trash in it here and there. It got two or three runs in it. But strictly in the clear, the base went on smooth. Uh, Tamco paint, I like it. I don't know what many other folks think about it, but I'm happy with it. I said, it's got a little bit of orange peel in it now from the clear. He put three coats on it, so he'd be able to sand and buff it. But for the most part, pretty good. Uh, sold the radio out of it this week. Got to order another radio. Got to order different subs. Think about ordering the auto meter dash like I've got in this one, but the one for this car. And thinking about swapping wheels. These wheels, I took them to a guy and they sprayed acid on them. Killed the finish on them, as you can see. They don't look too bad, but I got all the stuff to clean them back up, polish them back out. But man, that's a job. I don't, I don't really know if I feel like fooling with all that anytime soon. I may, I may not. But I'm pretty happy with the paint. I think it turned out pretty good. See wet sands and buffers and get that shine like it needs. Like I said, it's kind of orange peely now. Shines pretty good in spots in the corners and creases, but until we put that wet sand and buff on it, I think it's going to be pretty good. I'm on the hunt now for the stickers. I'm going to put the 88 style stickers, and I realize that 88 come with two different styles. You can do the one that just says SS Money Crawl on the door there, or you can do the one that's got the stripes. I think I want the stripes. Found them everywhere online, but they're every color but black, which is what this car had on it when I bought it, which is what I want. I found gold, I found silver, like a shadow silver, but I don't think the silver show up good enough. So waiting on a response from two different sellers to see if they got them in black. We'll start on that. Uh, thing I did do, I put my SS Monte Carlo spoiler on the cutlass. Looks okay. I'm not too fun of this spoiler i might even order the one like this car has which is actually sharper at the front so that one's kind of fat at the front this is a fiberglass reproduction and if anybody's thinking about ordering this let me tell you now when you get it it will not fit i had to do a large amount of sanding to get those gaps to look like that get the gap over there to match to get it to lay flat like that it's still not a hundred percent flat uh, maybe my body man can fix it for me. I'm going to see if he may even try to get him to mold it into the trunk. Well, it looks like one uniform deal there, but I don't know how much how much that would entail. I figure he could panel bond it and fiberglass it. Maybe the system won't beat it apart, I hope, but patiently waiting to get this thing painted. But again, get in my comments. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all think I should go black and silver. With the gold stripes, or black and gold with the gold stripes. I think black and gold is the, the vote right now because I want it to be different. I don't want it to look like every other one I went too far on it. And I'm thinking about putting a cow hood on it. I hadn't 100% decided on it because that hood there is fine. Uh, but I kind of want to get rid of all that chrome strip in there and just put the cow on it. Again, just giving all a quick update of what I got going on. This has been Big Body Cars, man. I know these have been short and very brief, but... So I finally start doing some major upgrades or anything that I think entail a whole lot of time. I'll, I'll post, let y'all know what I think. Another thing, what do y'all think about the molding? I found all this again in black. I can't find it all in polish like that. The two pieces that go here in the front, 
they're bent up like crazy because of the dude that did my t-tops but found them in black hadn't found them in chrome i can get everything in black and i could dye those trims around the uh, windows in the back sort of look like these just don't know how good it'll look against all that black like that i've seen it on a white cutlass and it looked pretty good but never really seen it on a black one everybody with black's got the polish and i kind of want the polish back because it sort of will look original but you guys give me my your opinion about that in the comments too again i know these videos are short and brief man i'm just trying to keep y'all up to cue to what i'm doing it's been big body cars man y'all have a good one